we separated them and bears our cat needed to go and have a little surgery. Wow. Not even 10 minutes after we separated them were they nose to nose at the baby gate. She understood that something had happened to her brother and she just wanted to be there to comfort him. We allowed them to play together. And the first thing that Belle did was go up and start licking Bears' head. Oh my gosh, you two. Cut it out. She's such a nurturing dog. She's so empathetic and sensitive and intuitive that immediately upon Bears returning home, she understood what was going on. Oh my goodness, you two. Bears has never been a fan of the vet. We decided to bring them in together. Immediately, we noticed it in the car ride. Once we got into the room, Bears just circled Belle's whole body. So it was very clear to us before the vet came in that they were communicating in their own way. We hoped that they would get along. First time we introduced them, Elle was accepting and curious as any puppy would be. Oh, Bears. Bears bow his head and just push his head up into her nuzzle. I've never seen Bears do that with any other dog. He just understood that he had a sister now and maybe that they're siblings because they look alike. No, no. As the days went on, Belle's confidence started to grow, and that's when their relationship of playful and being friends started to come out. <laughs> Bears is like her pesky little brother that's always fighting at her to play. <laughs> As Belle was getting bigger, it was always a concern of ours, keeping an eye on them when they played. Hey! Yeah, go Bears. She is such a gentle giant. His love for her grew as she grew. Then Belle received a pretty big surgery on her knee. Soon after the surgery, Bears just curled right up to her. Now it was his turn to reciprocate that love and attention and care with her. What are you two doing? You love him. Their understanding and their connection with each other is so magical. I feel so lucky to be able to experience their love and their connection. <laughs>